Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got another 5 mods that are all worth checking out on the Nexus. First mod is called Dog Metal by DLX. If you miss Rex from Fallout New Vegas and want a robot dog companion, this mod is for you. This mod adds 4 new armors with an alternative spike version for each at the chemistry station. All 4 armor sets give dog meat twice the damage, more hit points, no fall damage, and turns his voice a little bit more robotic. The first armor is the basic model, which turns dog meat into half dog, half motorcycle. I actually think this is the most lore friendly armor out of the bunch, because it looks like it was actually pieced together from scrap. The second armor is the wolf armor, which is my favorite out of the four. This armor makes dog meat look so much more intimidating, and if the institute made robot dogs, this is what I assume it would look like. The third armor gives dog meat a set of power armor. If you're someone who loves the X01 power armor, this version's for you. I'd love to see a mod made in the future that gives the Brotherhood dogs, because this set would fit that perfectly. The last armor is the beast armor, which is personally my least favorite out of the bunch. Dogmeat sort of looks like a centipede slash scorpion, and the spike version makes him look like the dragonborn. Overall though, it's just a really cool mod, and I love the way the wolf armor looks on Dogmeat. Just get warmed up up strong! The next mod is handy for people who really love sediment building, but hate going out scavenging for supplies just to be overburned in 5 minutes. The Disassemble and Transport Junk Chem by DD Productions 83 adds a new chem is crafted at the chemistry station. When your inventory is full of junk, take the chem, and now everything is broken down to the crafting components. The best thing about this mod is it's all transported to a sanctuary workbench. While it's technically a cheap mod, it beats having to leave stuff behind, and saves yourself from fast traveling back and forth. The third mod is Illuminated Billboards by Ceaseless and PDE. This mod adds some glow to all the billboards scattered around the Commonwealth. While it looks nice, I feel like this mod is not going to be for everybody. I personally really like the added glow, and it adds some character to the wasteland at night. But at the same time, it can be a little overwhelming and in your face in certain areas. This mod gives me a New York type of vibe, and some areas can look like Times Square. I hope in the future we see a mod that relights the Commonwealth with more street lights and add some lights to the bottom of the billboards. With a mod like that, I feel like this mod would be a lot more lore friendly than just having them glow. Either way, whether this is something you want in your game or not, you have to admit they look pretty great. The next mod I have is called Road Flares by Matsu Human. This mod adds craftable road flares to be tossed down anywhere you need a little extra light. It's a simple mod that goes great with darker nights or interiors, and I actually found myself using them a lot more than I thought I would. The flares also have the extra benefit of scaring off animals too, so if you're ever in one of those that want to be left to hell alone moods, just toss one down and the animals will waste and will run away. The last mod I have for you is a standalone Vault 98 settlement mod by Ryan C229. It's a clone of Vault 89, so if you've ever been there before, then you know how much room you have to build with. This vault comes with a working vault door, unique Vault 98 textures, and even a Vault 98 jumpsuit. The vault consists of two parts, the entrance and the main vault. The entrance is your own personal area that has a standalone workbench that works just like home plate, so you can decorate the entrance however you see fit. Then there's the main vault that works just like a normal settlement, so you can send settlers from other settlements here and even set up a working supply line. This mod also gives a new water cooler that gives 20 water so your vault toilets won't be thirsty. There's a room for pretty much anything you can think of here, from clinics, barbershops, classrooms, and even get your very own overseer's office. I really like this mod because it doesn't interfere with any other settlements. It's fully nav mesh, so settlers have no problem walking around, plus it's linked up with a supply line, so it feels like it was in the game from the start. The possibilities for building cool themed vaults are pretty much endless. That's all I got for you today guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below to let me know which one's your favorite, or let me know of any cool mods I might have missed. Give it a like if you did, and subscribe for more Fallout 4 mods. See you in the next showcase.